Hey, đây men receive, receive cái đăng, hoặc men là receive nó cho vậy, bật thủ. Mình mang bật tên nè. Chăn chạy ra chân mình thoát ra Thoát ra Mình dùm một phép nè Còn toàn chăn nó mục chui chui Ất vải lấy à, ất vải lấy à Ất vải lấy à Ất vải lấy à
Ôi, thông mà đà âm rồi vậy Đà hòa đó Ơ, à, nó mục nâng á Nhi Mà mục, mục nó mục nâng Thôi dân đà âm rồi đấy Mà mình cái ạc nâng được building with a blue awning okay can anybody tell us what is this building anybody know what this building is over here to the left that's the cafeteria folks that's the cafeteria now coming up on the left is the actual access arm off of 39a the shuttle astronauts would walk through this arm to climb into the orbiter you can see the white room. You see that white room there? That's what the video was just talking about on the end of this access arm right there. Now this is a good time to take a picture of the vehicle assembly building. The blue NASA emblem up there. Can anybody tell us its nickname? That's the meatball, folks. That's the NASA meatball. The VAB actually sits on eight acres of land. It's huge. At the right front corner is the press launch site. You see the American flag at the base of that flag is a blue box. That's the countdown clock. If you've ever seen a launch on television or a, or a news broadcast, that's probably the view that you saw. All the way over to the right at a 90 degree angle, you see four lightning rod towers. That's launch pad 40 on the Cape Canaveral Space Force side. Next to the left, next, keep looking to the left, those four lightning rod towers with the launch towers, launch pad 41. United Launch Alliance uses 41, SpaceX uses 40. Out the left front corner, you see the Artemis rocket, guys on launch pad 39B with the Orion capsule on top. It's out there for a test fit. They'll roll it back into the VAB and then the next time out will be the first test flight. To the right of that, out the right front corner of the bus, launch pad there, that's 39A. 39A and 39B are the only two launch pads on the Kennedy Space Center site. The other 39 are on the Cape Canaveral Space Force side. That's where it all started, guys, with the Mercury and Gemini program. We're coming across the crawlway. That is the highway from the VAB to the launch pads. The crawlway itself is wider than an eight lane highway. You can see the tread marks on either side of the green grass. Well, guys, that's because the crawler actually straddles the green grass. It is an awesome piece of machinery. You'll see a video on it in just a little bit. Out the left, uh, or out the front windshield now, the gray bay door on the right hand side, that is high bay one. Biggest garage door in the world, 456 feet tall. That's where they're gonna take the SLS, the Space Launch System, back into and get it ready for its first test flight. That's where the Artemis rocket is. Now, how does the mobile launcher support the SLS rocket? The mobile launcher provides fuel and power to the SLS in the Orion. It's actually a stacking platform for the rocket. So the platform next to this 380 foot tower that the rocket is actually built next to and then the umbilical arms attached to it to provide that fuel and power. And so does the mobile launcher actually go all the way to the launch pad with the rocket? It does. And the crawler transporter comes in, picks up the mobile launcher with the rocket, transports that entire thing out to the pad in preparation for the launch. Wow. Oh, that is very impressive. <laughs> it is. And I hope everyone here today has a great time at Kennedy Space Center. Enjoy all the great exhibits and uh, come back soon. building trying to grasp how large it really is in here. It has four bays. Each bay has two large horizontal doors below it and seven smaller vertically opening doors above it, tall enough to fit the world's largest rocket through. In fact, these 
are the largest stores in the world. Construction of the VAB required 65,000 cubic yards of concrete, 45,000 steel beams, 1 million steel bolts, amounting to almost 100,000 tons of steel. Notice the flag painted on the outside of the VAB? It's the size of a 21-story building. The blue section alone is the size of an NBA basketball court. Each star is six feet across, and each red and white stripe is wide enough for this bus to drive down. And the entire BAB? It's so huge that the Roman Colosseum would fit on the roof with room to spare for a parking lot. By volume, the VAB would fit three and a half Empire State Building, and it would take 250 billion ping pong balls to fill it. It was built in the 1960s for the Apollo program. Every Saturn V rocket that sent humans to the moon was assembled right here. Every space shuttle mission also assembled within these same walls. After the space shuttle program, a major renovation to the inside of this building began to accommodate NASA's next generation of rockets, the Space Launch System, or SLS. Lockheed Martin has developed a capsule called Orion that will sit atop the SLS rocket. This capsule is designed to facilitate human exploration of the moon and eventually Mars. Take a look at the four-story building with the slanted windows as we drive through this area. This is the Launch Control Center, where launch directors and their teams oversee every rocket that lifts off from KSC and gives the final go or no-go. I'm inside the LCC with Charlie Blackwell Thompson, NASA's first female launch director. Now, Charlie, can you tell us a little bit more about what a launch director does? Absolutely. The launch director's job during the planning phase is to ensure that you have everything in place that you... Got a wild hog to the right down here in the ditch. Wild hog and his baby. Procedures are ready to go, and your team is trained. The folks that sit in this room on watch day, they have a tough job, and that's to determine if the flight and the ground systems are go or no go. And I depend on them to make those calls. Bấm vô nó lăn lỡ mẹ ấy chi Chi nó lơ nè Mới rưu đi nó bảo Mới rước đơn này cho bọc Chị chạy nói